was uh, practice today? Practice was good. Energy was flowing around throughout the whole team. Um, not much of a physical day, more of a more of a mental sharpness day and effort day, and I felt like all phases of the ball presented that today. So I was really proud of our team. What does it mean? I guess Coach took a, the pads off you guys today. It's been you guys has, guys had a pretty tough game this past week. Does that that help you guys kind of reinvigorate when he does that? Yeah, that kind of boosts our freshness in order for Saturday. You know, Rice has had a couple weeks off with their bye week, so you know they're fresh. Um, Coach just wants us to to match their freshness so we could. Uh, play with effort uh, through all four quarters. You had your hands full in the secondary last week, Western Kentucky. You know, how's a game like that kind of prepare you for the rest of, of your conference slate when you're dealing with maybe the most high-powered offense in the conference? Yeah, Western Kentucky was definitely a high-powered offense for sure. And um, we, we had our tests uh, in the secondary, but I feel like that will only strengthen us because we had experience on it. We're battle-tested with one of the one of the best offenses in the conference. So I feel like that will only strengthen our secondary for, for the rest of the season. How have you felt about your play individually so far this year? Uh, I felt my play has been good, has, has been uh, consistent. I feel like I could make more plays for my teammates. You know, my teammates have been making plays for me, so I feel like I could, I could up that a little more, but it's definitely been consistent. What do you say are your best attributes as a player or kind of ways that you stand out? Um, I like to watch a lot of film, so I guess when I'm on the field, I can kind of see what's happening before stuff happens. I can see route concepts and stuff like that. So, yeah, my smartness and my, and my speed. Coach described you as like a silent assassin who just kind of shows up to work every day and does what he has to do. Do you sort of see that quality in yourself? Yeah, I, I see it in myself, kind of. I appreciate Coach for telling, telling me that because that's kind of what I pride myself on. Just keep your head down, go to work every day, and just get better. Have you always been that way or did you kind of have to learn that over the years? Uh, I feel like I've always been that way. You know, I take it back to high school, I was probably the same way, more of a probably more of a vocal leader back in my high school, which is something I'm trying to mold into here. Um, but yeah, I've probably been that way my whole life. What's the, uh, you, what are some of the things Rice does? Well, what do you guys gotta watch out for this week? Uh, they're a very versatile team that plays really hard. You know, they give us a lot of looks on the offensive end from, from 32 personnel, three fullbacks to straight spread and empty. So we just gotta be simple on defense and just play with perfect effort and we should be fine. How would you assess, I guess, the secondary overall? How have you guys done this year? I think we've done pretty good on my on, uh, if you ask me. You know, my corners coach always prides us on just eliminating the deep balls, especially in the corner room. So whenever you do that on a consistent basis week in and week out, that just helps the team even more. And I feel like we've done that for the most part. So I'm, I'm proud of our secondary. It seems like uh, you and Tariq and Corey have had a pretty good, you know, consistent run here in the first half of the season. What, what's it like in that room? And well, how, how do you like the depth in that room? Uh, we're like brothers in there. I love every, each and every one of them, guys. Uh, we push each other to uh, get better every day. Um, we help each other, with whether that's calls or, or uh, route concepts and stuff like that. So it's just a big family in there. I love it. You know, 6-0 each week, it's like another – milestone as far as this program goes. How do you kind of maintain that, keep the train rolling, and then keep building on what you've already accomplished? Just winning the day. We're not worried about um, the scores of the end of the game or our record. We're just worried about what's next for the next day and how can we, um, I guess, just maximize the next day to make sure that, that we get better. And last week in a game with almost 100 total points scored, defense makes the play that ends it. You know, how uh, fulfilling was that for you guys that had to be running up and down yeah. the field all game long? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, we always pride ourselves that on the defensive end that it's always going to end on us. So the fact that um, the game ended on a pick from us was just very satisfying. I really loved it. Ken, what did you do last year that allowed you to kind of carve out a role as a redshirt freshman? Um, I guess it would just be just taking coaching well and just playing hard. That's with, that's with anybody that's coming off the bench or that doesn't have a lot of experience. Uh, just go on, start on special teams. That's where I started. Just play hard, make plays on there, and just listen to coaching and just do your hardest whenever you're in the defensive end. How have you grown as a player from then till now? Do you see ways that your game has gotten better? Hmm. I feel like mentally I've grown more. I feel like I see a lot more like receiver tendencies since I've since I've been since I've been in the lineup. Um, my tackling has gotten better. I, I, I know I've improved in that one. So that's about it, really. What's the biggest challenge or adversity, if there's anything that sticks out that you had to overcome just to get to this point in your career where you are a starter and a contributor here? 
biggest adversity. I'm not the biggest guy, to be honest. So just priding myself and just playing hard despite my size was probably the biggest thing for me. And then injuries probably. I didn't play the first four games last year with an injury. Uh, got kind of sidelined at the beginning of this year with a minor injury. So um, just keeping the injuries at bay and just playing hard. Where do you sort of find your motivation to work through that stuff or to, to push as hard as you do? Um, really through just the win, win the day mentality. You know, when you're part of this team, you, you have no choice but to adapt to that culture. So whenever I got the injuries, I was just thinking, okay, what can I do to maximize, um, maximize my talent while I'm on the sideline? And that's just going to rehab, getting better, uh, staying on the field, watching extra practice and stuff like that. That I was I was committed to doing it. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.